Well, this is a rare EFAP where they all look really, really stupid. And I just love how they contradict themselves in such a extreme way. But let's get to it. So Mahler starts off by misdescribing what Chris did in the video by saying, Oh, you, you may fault equation where film criticism equal film bashing. What's the problem with you? Criticism as a practice in general is film bashing. Exactly. Review equals bashing, which is interesting because if I was to rewrite his script for him, knowing what I know about him, I would have said, what you should say is, I know a lot of you might have expected some kind of hilariosity review, but um, as you know, uh, for several years, I've retired those. Well, apparently they didn't actually watch the video. He didn't say that. Now, what he says is he wasn't going to review Madam Web because he didn't want to bash the filmmakers. He's not saying the movie is good. In fact, he blames Sony for making the film bad. He explicitly goes through that in the video. So as usual, Mahler got it completely 100% wrong. But here, it went even further insanity when Chris Gore tried to help him, but then ended up refuting him entirely. And also, what I think he's is... saying, yeah. What, what I what I think he's saying without saying it is, I'm better than you. <laughs> better than you. No, I'm serious. I can resist it's the like temptation. I'm better than you because I'm yeah. not going to fall because into what you I... you know the lesser people would want to do. Yes. those Edenists. <laughs> yeah, he's he's being in my opinion, kind of an elitist prick, but, uh, like, also, like... And I realize that EFAP uses the word logic. They use the word logic a lot. They use it a whole lot. They don't seem to know what it means. So what Chris Gore is accusing Stuckman is of being elitist. Let's think about that. If you're an elitist, you want the best of everything. So in other words, Madam Web does not qualify as the best movie. Ergo, I will not review it. That is not quote, wrong or bad or unethical or even incoherent. That just means I will only look at the best. Madam Web is not the best. I will not look at it. And he's like, what's wrong with you? Because he, here they're trying to discredit him as a film critic, but you're trying to say his problem is you're, you're being too insanely, oh my God, you just want the best. Notice this is what he's claiming Chris is doing, which would make him a super film critic, not, not a film critic, you idiot. But then it got even more hilarious to say, you know, here's the problem. And I sent you a link, Mahler, because, you know, we're friends and I'm, you know, I get down on my knees and I rub your toes and I mm, mm, put my tongue in all intimate places. So Chris sent a link and uh, dropped breathlessly. Oh, guys, listen, me and John Campea, we're filmmakers. A whole, I, and, and Mahler, I think I sent you a link to a story which I thought was awful about can movie critics be filmmakers right. there are a lot of uh, critics who have filmmakers I i'm one of them john campia made a movie about a documentary about movie trailers Alrighty then so christopher nolan and denis villeneuve here have finally spoken me and Mahler, we're filmmakers guys okay chris stuckman doesn't understand what he's talking about i made a little film 20 years ago which nobody cared about now I'm one of the greatest filmmakers of all time. Oh, Stuckman's made a movie. I think there's clips in one of the videos I sent you. Like, oh, so what he's saying is, is well. like, I'm better than you. I'm better than you because I'm not going to do this. Also, I might end up working for a studio, so I don't want to say these things. Which... Okay, good or bad, Chris Stuckman has put out a serious film. Good or bad, so he is a filmmaker. Good or bad, he is a film critic. He could be a very flawed film critic, but he is a film critic. Are the EFAP filled with film critics? No. Is Chris Gore a film critic? No. I would have to concede he's a filmmaker, and he made films no one knows about, talks about, cares about, and just looking at them superficially, they look terrible. They make Madam Web look like the greatest film of all time. I'm not joking. I'm like, oh my god. Compared to this, Madam Web is actually genuinely a great film. So, good work there, stupid. Good work. Good for you, you moron.